Hey guys, it's Celia and I'm back with another video. So today I wanted to try something out for you guys. Um, one of my followers wanted me to try out these loop rods on Amazon. So I went ahead and purchased some and these are what they look like. I got like five different packs, but I have these green ones and then I have these yellow ones. Um, so yeah, this is what it's looking like. Let me actually take it out of the package so I can show y'all how they work. But I feel like they are going to be really similar to flexi rods. So how they work is you pretty much are going to be wrapping your hair around these things kind of like you would with a flexi rod um, but the only difference is it is like a loop so once you get to your root you're going to close it like this and yeah um, and then when you take it down it's going to be like a nice spiral curl I'm sure so I just thought this was really cool and really different um, I have seen something a little bit similar to this um, with flexi rods. I still just wanted to try these out for you guys because it's something new. I did Google, or not Google, I did YouTube it and um, someone tried these like eight years ago. So they're not brand new, but um, yeah, I didn't see any like recent videos of anyone using this. So yeah, I'm going to try these out. And if anybody try to use these after me, you better shout me out. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to try these out. I'm, I don't know. I wish these were a little thicker because I don't want my curls to be super tight, which I'm sure they will. But we will see y'all. I'm going to stop talking now and just get started with my hair. Um, the only product I'm going to be using is a mousse. Y'all know I like mousses for my rod sets. Um, but instead of the Jane Carter one, I'm using the My El Babasu Brazilian Curly Cocktail. I have used this before, um, so yeah, I will be using this, and let's just get right into it. All right, you guys, so I'm sure many of you already know the drill. I only like to do my styles on freshly washed and conditioned hair. Just I just feel like I get the best results. So my hair is feeling clean and looking very soft. I did use two of my current favorites from Nature's Little Secret. Um, their cucumber shampoo and then the milk strengthening deep conditioner these two are literally amazing for wash days so I'll put the links down below and I do have a discount code if you're interested but yeah I am just about to section up my hair so I can get ready to install these loop rods these are very skinny um, so I already knew that I had to work in smaller sections Alright, so the next steps are very, very simple. I just sprayed my small section of hair with some water. Um, I like to work on wet hair, so that's why I did. Then I detangled with my tangle teaser, um, which was optional because my hair wasn't really even tangled, but I gotta make sure. And then I went and applied the my L Organics mousse so all i needed for my sections was one pump like one pump was perfect i've said this countless min or not countless many i've said this plenty of times but i love using mousse for like any type of rod sets anything like that because it really just i don't know it smooths your hair and it moisturizes at the same time um so it gives you frizz free results so yeah if you haven't tried a mousse out yet definitely try it out uh and then i'm going to wrap my hair around the rod so it's really easy all i did was start from the ends i wrapped my end around making sure to really you know make sure it's secure on there then i wrapped my hair over the end like one time just to make sure like my ends don't try to curl up and then i started to wrap my hair all the way up the rod and that's kind of what you want to do with this you don't want to like just keep wrapping your hair over it you're supposed to wrap your hair all the way up the rod and then once i got to my roots i just 
bent the rod and connected the two red pieces and with these i was really really careful because if you get too close to your root and try to connect the red pieces it will be too tight trust me i had to um fix some of them because they were giving me a freaking headache but yeah pretty simple um this was not hard to do at all it just was time consuming because i put in a lot of rides Alright you guys, so 60 loop rods later, this is what my hair is looking like. I used 5 packs of 12. This took forever you guys, like I don't even know how long it took. I kept taking breaks, my kids was crying, I was sweating, I was hungry, like it was just a lot, but I got it done. Um, I tried to sit underneath the dryer, my hooded dryer you guys, and these things kept on popping. like. The red parts kept on like take, coming out, so I couldn't sit under the dryer. I had to sleep with these in my head. Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it wasn't comfortable either. Um, so you see me now. This is the next morning. I am just unwinding and taking down the spiral rods. And you can just see what the little curl looks like. Um, it was extremely, extremely tight like I knew it was. It was like surely freaking temples. But yeah, I am just going to continue taking all of these out. It took me a good 15 minutes to get them all out. But once I did this... Um, is what my little springy spiral curls are looking like. Now, of course, the last step is going to be separating these curls. Y'all, I honestly was not even excited to take these curls down because these curls are so freaking tight. But y'all already know how I do. I just take small little pieces, twirl around my finger, yada, yada, yada. Um, I'm going to fast forward past this part just so you guys can see the final result. And let me know what y'all think because I was pretty sad. All right, you guys, so this is what my hair is looking like. The back of my hair looks more like finger coils than the top, which looks more like curls. I don't know if I did something wrong, but other than that, I do really like my curls. Um, it came out very defined. Not much frizz at all, even after separating. My hair is nice and soft and springy. I do like my hair, but it's just not the look I was going for. I wouldn't use these loop rods again, but I would definitely try the same method out using flexi rods. I do feel like if I were able to use a flexi rod, um, which, you know, come in bigger sizes, I could get the look I'm going for without it being so shrunken and the curls being so tight. Um, so yeah. I would definitely try this with flexi rods. Only difference would be is the flexi rods, you know, don't have anything to like insert. You would just bend it and that would be it. So maybe I'll be doing that soon the next time I do a flexi rod set. Let me know what you guys think about these loop rods. Would you try them out um, or not? And do you like the way my curls look? So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video.